Hi guys, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a plaid design t-shirt. Um, so yeah, this video was actually requested by Heat of Games. And yeah, um, in this video, I'm actually not going to be using paint.net like I did in the last video. I'm going to be using Photopea. The reason I want to do Photopea is because I feel like it's a much more easier website and um, you have a lot more freedom and creativity with it because it's very similar to Photoshop. So to find Photop, just go on Google and type up photop.com, press enter. And um, it might look a bit confusing with all of this stuff, but it's okay. The main thing you want to focus on is just click new project. And you want to make the width 585 and the height 559 and you want to name your project so I'm just going to name it um, blue plaid design blue plaid design and then after you have something like this just press create and now you should have now you should have this little box so now what you want to do is go back onto Google and type up Roblox shirt template click images and you want to find a plain template you don't want to find any of these shirts or anything just you want to find a plain one for example like this one and when you do find it you want to make sure that it's 585 by 559 so this one isn't the good one so let's keep so for example this one this is a good one 585 by 559 this is the one that you want also um, I will leave everything like the photo peer website um, the materials that I use, the templates that I use, I'll use, I'll link everything that I use down in the description. So if you really want to follow along, you can use them. So just um, can copy this. So you right click, copy image, go back to photo here, press Control V to paste it in like this. So now um, we're going to name the layer, and to name the layer, just double click on this layer one, double click one, like just do it fast, like. Like this and then we're just going to name it shirt template like that oh, I even spelled that wrong oops okay shirt template perfect <laughs> okay so now we want our now we want to get our plaid design so just go back onto Google and type up plaid design so if you want to get the original plaid design you can just type up plaid design but if you want to find a color plaid design for example red or yellow or green or something just type up that your color plaid design for example i want a blue plaid design so i'm going to type up blue plaid design press images and you're just going to find something that you like and i personally like um this one so just copy it go back onto photo here and press Control v and now we should, and then just double click again, rename it, and then you can just name it to plaid, just name it to plaid. And if you have something like this, where you have stutter.com at the bottom, or just any access stuff around the edges that you don't need, go over to this rectangle tool over here, click it, and then hold your mouse, and then drag it, and you can press Control X, or you can just press um, backspace on your keyboard. And after when you delete something, you would have these lines over here. And to get rid of those lines, just press Control D and perfect. Now we have our plaid design. So to zoom in, you want to click this little magnifying glass icon over here and hold your mouse and then you can just zoom in like this. So um, when we get our plaid design, you're going to notice that it's way too big and we can't see the template. So a way to fix this is go to edit at the top, free transform, and then you can just scale it down. But when you do um, scale it, you want to make sure that you're on your plaid design layer. So um, when you're on free transform, hold down shift and click these little arrows and then just drag it like that. And then match it up exactly like that <clears throat> and then you can just press that little tick um i'm just going to make this a tiny bit bigger like that um so now what we're going to do so now um 
we're going to just go, since we can't see the template, right? We're going to go to opacity at the top. Make sure you have your player design layer selected. Go over to your opacity, click this little arrow, and then you scale it down. So then we're able to see the template. I normally scale it down to around, um, like, I'm going to do 30, like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. And just going to scale it like that. Okay, so um, obviously over here you can see the template. So if you, if you can't see the template, you can obviously scale it down a bit more if you really wanted to. Like that. So click your play design. Go over to this rectangle tool. And you just want to just crop it. So hold down your mouse. And then just drag it. And just press delete exactly like that and then if you go back up you can see we have a little hole right there like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same on the other side so um just the way that i normally do this is just your play design layer copy it and then go up to edit at the top um, transform flip horizontally and there you go we have this like that so we can go down back to the other opacity and just get rid of these bits over here because we don't need those bits and then I'm just going to use the rubber tool to get rid of this um, like that so if we go back to the opacity pick it up we literally have our template. So easy so far. So now I want my plaid design to have um, a little white t-shirt down at the bottom. I'll show an image what I mean on the screen like that. Um, so to do that, if you guys want to do it, just go over to um, a plaid design. And then you just want to go over to the middle, use the exact same rectangle tool. And then just drag it something like this also keep in mind we are going to be using this tool a lot so yeah so um i recommend that you try and make the sides both the same um, amount of plaid so it looks a bit more normal and neater i suppose so i'm just going to try and do that something around about there and then when you do have it just press delete or Control x or backspace on your keyboard and then to get rid of these lines just press Control d like that so then the design then the white t-shirt is going to be over here like this okay so now we're going to do the hoodie right so we so over here in this blue space just go back to google copy your plaid design paste it back into photopea and we're just going to name this hood area i guess i'm just going to name a hood area and now it's just kind of the same process so if you have any of these lines just delete it then go edit, free transform, you can make it smaller, like that, and press this little tick icon. Also make sure this hoodie area is at the very top of the layers, like that. Then go to the opacity, make, it, um, um, make the opacity lower so then we're able to see the template. Something like that, just delete it. Oops. Here you go. Okay. And now um we're going to move this bit right over here. I'm just gonna So yeah, everything now is just kind of the same process. yeah literally it's basically the same process over and over and over again um yes so i'm just going to delete this like that perfect and make the opacity back to 100 percent okay so after we've done that now we need to do this bottom area so um something that i like to do is go over to this top area on the layers tab hold go to the very top one hold down shift go to the bottom plaid press ctrl g 
and we're just gonna um, rename this to top half just so it's a bit more organized also um, I'm sorry I forgot to mention this but um, if you have your plaid design going on the outside over here for example you're cutting over here goes onto this side it doesn't matter if you don't cut it too well it's just but way more organized so you can really actually see your design um also when you cut it you want to make sure that you do not cut this white bit because otherwise you're going to have a white and then you're going to have skin basically showing through your t-shirt and no one wants that because that's not pretty so um we're going to go back onto google plaid design just copy and paste it and once again, the same process. Making it smaller, scaling it, and yeah. So also, when you do this, you wanna make your hand, you wanna make a hand hole, otherwise your t-shirt is just gonna go, has, you're gonna see no hand. So, if you wanna make a short sleeve t-shirt, just make your plaid design go up to here, right? Or right over here. But if you wanna make a short, um, a long sleeve, make sure you put it somewhere over here and that's what I'm going to be doing so um, once you figure out if you're going to make a short sleeve, long sleeve or hoodie or something like that just press the stick icon and copy like this also I'm going to be showing you a little trick um, so when you do it just do this half just only do one half because I'll show you why later so we're going to do the same stuff, make the opacity lower, like that, and just delete it. And also, this is what I was talking about um, earlier. If you have this stuff that you don't really want to cut because it's not that much, just leave it because your t-shirt isn't going to show that bit. But I'm just going to do it because it will be much more organized. So yeah. So now we're going to go to do the plaid design, just cut it. exactly like this right so now what we're going to do is go just for this but over here what we did over here just go to the bottom layer hold control go to the top layer and do control c and then press control v and we're copying it you want to still hold those layers go up to edit at the top transform flip horizontally edit free transform and then just drag it to this side over here and just press the tick like that so yeah this is basically it and also one key if you still have this background layer you just want to delete it so now this is actually your hand hold so one last thing we I just one more thing um you know how I said earlier I'm gonna make um, a t-shirt that has white down the middle this gap is going to be it so to do that if you want to just go and just click this little new layer and click this paint brush tool go to this and then you can change the size and stuff but to change the color go over to this little color palette and you want to do the first option just click it and you can change the colors i want to do a very light blue something like that then you can just color it like that like this down but i recommend using this rectangle tool once again and just doing the original just do this but this time don't delete anything let's get your paintbrush tool and just color it exactly like this like that okay um, so after we did that we almost finished but not quite yet so now we want to make make a neck hole so to make a neck hole um, do you want to go over to this rectangle select once again right click and press a lip a lip select and you want to head over to your top half just click this arrow and go over to the hood area and you want to make your neck hole something like this and press delete like that um and also if you have um, a t-shirt like me 
where you added the second layer, go over to that one and press delete and press control D and boom, there's your neck hole. Um, something that I recommend is adding a little design inside your hoodie. Um, so I just want a smiley face emoji. So I'm just going to do smiley face. Um, I'm going to click this one, copy it, press control V. You want to make sure that your logo or image is at the very top. You can just drag it. And if you, for example, like me, if you have a layer where it's not transparent, go over to this transparent, I mean, magic wand icon, click it. Make sure you're on your um, image that you want transparent, click it. Press control D or delete or backspace and boom. And just press control D after it. And if you have something like this, where you, if you something like that, go over to the eraser tool and just erase it like that. And we, now we're just gonna um, name it smiley face. Like that. Go to edit, transform, hold down shift and to change the size like that. Yeah. Oh my God, that's not even in the middle. <laughs> Uh, okay perfect like that um so yeah this is how you make um a t-shirt inside photopea but before you do anything you need to save it you have to save it so for example if you have to go anywhere like you have to get off your laptop it does not save automatically it does not so to save it go to file at the top save as PDSD and then you can just um, name it and then just press save and it's saved and um, if you're ready if you want to upload your design to Roblox click file export as PNG make sure the quality is 100% and press save and that is how you do it um, so yeah to upload it to roblox you obviously want to head over to roblox um head over to create at the top um if you want this to be a group shirt you can press group creations but if you want it to be a shirt for yourself or to sell it for other people to buy just press shirts um click choose file and go to the um, file will be saved as a PNG and press open. Yep, yeah, oops, like that. And then you can name your shirt and then you can upload it for 10 Robux. Anyways, that's how you make a shirt inside Photopea. And if you have any questions or problems, just let me know in the comment section and I'll um, message you as soon as I can. And don't worry, I will 100% respond. Um, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!